Okay, welcome to Vanderbilly.com. Today we're going to learn uh, What Would You Say by Dave Matthews. Um, we're going to learn a few of the, uh, we're going to learn a basic riff. It's a basis for the song. And then uh, the chords of the chorus and a kind of a, a cool sequence that's called the jam section. And if you're like me, it's going to take, uh, it'll take a while to get the hang of the basic riff. But once you do, there's, there's kind of a breakthrough point and uh, you'll be able to put it all together. Uh, Dave is a very rhythmic and percussive player, so you sort of have to work on that a bit to get, get the sound. Uh, okay, I'll start with the basic riff. I'm going to play it through a few times, uh, more or less at speed, uh, and then we'll, we'll break it down. Okay, um, let's see what's going on there. Uh, you're going to start with your uh, middle finger on the E string, third fret, and your ring finger on the D string, uh, third fret, and then uh, your first finger on the G string, second fret. Um, next, you're going you're gonna to strike that E, slide the whole thing up to the fifth fret, uh, and then play the G and the D strings in sequence with a little harder strike on the D. Um, so you're going to do a little bit of a palm strike after that. Uh, and what you're going to do is you're going to move your ring finger down to the B string third fret and then strike that note and slide up to the fifth. Um, and then you bring your middle finger down on the low E string, fifth fret, and play this. So uh, just slowly through that whole bit. Uh, start with the, the, the basic form, slide up. It's okay if when you're playing uh, the B string, if you hit the uh, the open G as well, because this is actually a rhythm figure, you know, it's, um, and you're supposed to have a little bit of sound in there, so it's fine to be doing. All right. Um, so that's what we've got so far. The second part of it is uh, um, you're you're going to bring your uh, your middle finger down. To the E string third fret uh, and uh, strike a muted open A chord. And there's lots of palm muting in, in Dave Matthews, so you definitely have to get that bit down so it's short. Uh, and then we do that half step bend that is kind of the uh, trademark uh, sound of the song. Um, it's just a half step bend and return. And you can do that either. I do it with my uh, first finger. You can do, also do it with uh, your ring finger if, if that's easier for you. And then you're just going to, uh, after that, just B string open, um, G string second fret, and uh, D string uh, second fret. Um, so if you're playing that with your. Um, with your ring finger, you'd do all of that with your ring finger. So it would be. If you're doing it with your first finger, same thing. So that piece is. So um, at that point, that's that's the entire opening riff. And again, uh, it does take a while to uh, get it all to hang together. Um, but it should sound something like. Um, 
Okay, so Dave, uh, if you're going to sing this song, Dave uh, actually plays that a lot of the time while he's singing, which uh, it's a good trick if you can do it. Uh, I'm not one of the people who can do it. So uh, there are chords that I've seen him play that you can use to, uh, if you want to sing the song, just very quickly, you put your, uh, the first one is uh, first finger on the E string, fifth fret, second finger on the D string, fifth fret, and the ring finger on the B string. Uh, fifth fret. So that just sounds like this. And the second one is an A major with a G added. Just uh, and uh, there's going to be lots of uh, percussiveness in this rhythm, so uh, it should sound something like. Flick too much of my uh, singing on you, but uh, just to give you an idea, it's like, kind of like up and down the puppy's head, freezing dicks run everywhere because of original sin. So that's that's the idea. <laughs> <laughs>